Greatest putters of all time, Warren Roberts. Putting really, is, to me, has been my part of the game for a long time. And speed control is the key to great putting. Because if you can't control your speed, what line are you going to hit it on? You can't pick the line to hit it. So it's always visualizing and controlling that speed. And really, it's not only do you have a, a golf swing, but you also have a putting stroke. Now, obviously, they're, they're called two different things, but the club, it's, the club has to work the same way. This all relates to controlling your speed. And when you're under pressure and you got to make a putt, it's so much easier to think about just controlling my speed and having to hit it on the perfect line. And how do I control my speed? Well, you've got to get the putter moving the right way. And I bring up the long putter, and I'm going to put my driver here, and what I'm going to say, you see the, the belly putter, and some people that have a long putter way up here. Well, if I were to have a belly putter, and I put it right there, and I'm going to make my stroke, I want you to watch this part of the putter right here. What happens? I, I, as, I, as I make my stroke here, look, that stays centered pretty much, doesn't it? Okay? So now you have the shaft working the right way. There, there, and it engages your shoulders much better. So if I have a standard putter, I'm the same way. If I want to swing it, I've got to have there on a back stroke. You want to make sure that you have the butt end of this grip pointed at your butt buckle. That puts the club in the right position so that you can make a nice stroke, you can line it up in impact, and you have a release afterwards. This has got to swing that way. If you start trying to manufacture where you, you've got the grip coming back like this, you're in trouble. But you got to have some swing. I'm going to give you one other tip. This is a great drill for getting you to, to feel what it feels like to have the putter working the right way. If you're right-handed, you stick your left hand in your pocket and you just hit some putts. And you need to hit long putts, 25, 30 feet, with just your right hand. In order for you to hit it hard enough, it makes you hinge that right wrist, okay? Makes you hinge that, and see that automatically, if you just hit some putts with just one hand, it automatically makes you swing the putter like you should. It puts that shaft in the right position there, and then makes you release it. You do it with one hand. That little drill just teaches you how the putter needs to work in your putting stroke.